I'm inside of Kittle and I'm working on an American flag design. And what I'd like to do is remove the color from the design and have it match the background. The problem you may run into is if I click my design and then I click on, let's say, the blue, and I'd like to make the blue disappear. So if I click blue and then I click the little eyedropper tool and I click outside of it, you'll see now my American flag design is now matching the background. If I do this one more time, I'll take the red and I'll use the eyedropper tool. I'll click outside of it and you'll see now I've created a black and white American flag design. Well, this is great until I change the background. If I click on the background, so down on the bottom right, I click on layers and then I go in here to the background. And if I remove the background, suddenly you'll see it's a black and white design, but I didn't really want that. I just wanted the white to show up. Hmm, how do I remove the colors without it being tied to a specific background. I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, we have rewound the clock, and now I'm gonna actually remove my background, so we've just got my American flag design. If you'd like to remove a color inside of one of the vector designs inside of Kittle, what you can do is click on the design. When you go to object color now on the top right, I'm gonna click on the blue, and you'll see there's an opacity alpha channel right there. When I slide the opacity slash alpha channel down, you'll see now, it completely disappears. It just leaves the white. Same thing here with the red. If I click on the red, the opacity alpha channel, I now can slide this down, leaving only the white. I'm actually gonna change this so you can see it a bit easier. Instead of the white now, I'm gonna change this to be black. And you can see now I have no background. I've simply removed the blue and the red. To get it back pretty easily, you'll see the colors are still there. When I click on the design, I still have a blue color, but you'll see the opacity is now down to zero. I can actually change this. I can slide it back up to 100, if you like, or any numerical value. Same thing here with the red. I can push this back now to 100, and then I could change this back to white. Kittle is easy, easy, easy. I love using Kittle. You can spend more time designing and less time being frustrated. You can make awesome looking designs. I'll put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up. It is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on the link and you purchase something, I would receive a small commission. Remember that opacity slash alpha channel. It's very useful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey using the powers of Kittle.